So, uh, 6th of March, 2000 something. Uh, anyway, 6th of March is still winter, so really cold month in UK. The temperatures will be low, the tires will be underheated, conditions will be bad, it will be super hard to drive. Um, stable setup, that's what I want, I don't care about anything else. So, uh, let's try it. Looks really bad. Not a bad start. Let's not mess it up. <laughs> oh my, oh my. Interesting, interesting. Well, that wasn't bad. That was actually good. P1 already. But it's raining. Conditions are hard. That's what I'm talking about. One braking can mess up everything. And it's so hard to accelerate. I'm barely touching the accelerator. And the car is sliding like crazy. Like, like it wants to bite my head off. I wish I had an access to a proper wet tires rather than driving those truck tires. Actually, my assumption is those are truck tires in that car. I cannot even check that. Because I don't have uh, the hub change point to any keys here. But I know. A, that is a fact that this car does not have wet tires available. Uh, but I'm somehow still managing. I'm releasing accelerator whenever I see a bigger puddle. I don't want any aqua playing affecting my driving. And I know it won't be possible. Very careful accelerator, here we go, puddles here. Oh, oh, that's what I'm talking about, it's twitching. Again. There's a big one here in the apex, I'm avoiding the left, uh, right hand side, staying in the middle, just to be safe. It twitch again to the left this time, there is a big one here as well. That second gear acceleration is always dangerous. I prefer to be in third quickly. And four. If anyone is curious, no, I did not stay at difficulty 70 after the previous race. I reduced it a little bit. I think it's at 60 at the moment, which is good enough for me. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That was puddle, that was aquaplaning. I lost a lot of time here. I guess I'm lucky that AI is not that super good in rain as they were in Project Cars 1, but at the same time, 
the more puddles there are, the bigger the aquaplaning and AI is not affected by it. So this is something only I have to manage. And there are puddles all over the place now. So I prefer to change the gear here to the fifth because there's a big puddle and when I'm changing and not accelerating, it's so much easier to manage it. That corner again, I'm staying in the middle. Actually staying in the middle all the time is safer because if the puddle changes the direction of driving, I have more time to react. That's what I'm talking about. If I was close to the edge, I would be on the grass and gone. The last time I messed up here, there is a puddle here. car is sliding constantly, all the time in that corner. How the hell did they manage to catch up so quickly? I had such an advantage. He's even overtaking, that's, that's what I'm saying. They are not affected by the puddles, by aqua plane. They can just accelerate as quick as they need to. Well, I have to manage it constantly, being super careful. I think it stopped raining though, at least that. But the puddles are there, so they won't disappear. so much faster in that corner here. I'm taking a lot of risk now just to stay. Final lap, okay. Only I can... Avoid mistakes. It's already behind. He's overtaking actually. I need to outbreak him here, I don't know how. This guy has a huge, huge advantage, but I'm Catching up now. Okay, somehow, somehow I managed to do it. Early fourth gear. In those conditions, it's better that way. There's one more braking. And now just one more acceleration. You will have a better one than me. Oh my, he overtook me. Or not, I don't know. Was I first or not? I actually don't know. 
Uh, can my Motec show me that? I'm not seeing that in the Motec. I won't know till I get to the <laughs> my garage. Uh, it's just so interesting. Catrum is much better acceleration and obviously he can push as AI. He can push as much as he wants because uh, won't be affected by, uh, by the puddles as I am. But we can see now a dry line forming on the truck but <laughs> it's much too late. That's what the puddles do. I'm on the podium, but am I first? Now I'm second. Bye. That was the same time. The same time. His best lap was a second quicker almost. That's crazy. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to reply this, right? Uh, let's restart that session. Uh, Leon, let's do different. Let's continue. I'll take the podium. Yeah, perfect. And I will restart after that. So, silver uh, with exactly the same finish line time. Um, so, let's try again. At least I know what to expect this time. Uh, all K-Trams, I'm KT, ah, and the KTMs are later, so K-Trams are faster, I guess, for the reason they are in the front. Uh, let's try again. That was a perfect start. I think there was achievement for that in uh, Project Cars 1. Whoa, whoa, they were going. <laughs> they were trying to sandwich me. and the car is still sliding like crazy. I need to get as much advantage as possible in those first two laps because there will be a huge aqua plane laps uh, past second and they will be catching up.
So overall, the conditions seem to be better this time. Oh, let's see. Paddles are much uh, smaller this time, they're not forming as quickly. But the first race, even though I lost it, should be a pro, <laughs> was very satisfactory. And I really enjoy it. Five balls is pretty much literally to the end of the last lap to the finish line. Okay. Yeah, the bottles are forming. Not as quickly as on the previous attempt, but still. This one scares me really. It seems to be really big. But obviously I also have the experience I didn't have when I was attempting this first time. So that helps a lot. I think this is lap 3. And so far they are nowhere to be seen. I don't remember when they were uh, catching up with me on the previous attempt. taken this fuel as well. I have little volume, whatever it is. Uh, I don't have time to check it now. Yeah, there are no puddles much at all, they are very small. So much easier in this attempt. If I knew I would actually increase the difficulty to have a proper race. But you know this is not a championship, this is just invitational so I didn't care that much. A really good fight in the first attempt so I can yeah I can see the dry line as forming now as well so uh, two more laps uh, this one and the next one so if I won't do anything stupid, it should be an easy win this time.
I always release accelerator on a big puddle there after the last corner. It can mess me up. I can see them in my mirror, so they're not that far away. Final lap. Keep it steady and take the win. You deserve this, buddy. Staying on the dry line helps a lot actually. Great stuff, best first second time so far. Pit limiter, just find my uh, pit stop and we're done. Well done, mate. You won the race. You okay, really, really that was, uh, that was much, Great much better. Uh, so, it looks like the k trams were faster than, um, than all the other KTMs. k trams were... Oh no, there was one KTM on 7th position. But there were key champs on 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th and 6th, 8th and 9th, uh, all of them in the first uh, top 9. Uh, and looking at the times, interestingly enough, their best laps were so much better than mine. 127.5 my best lap, uh, versus 124.4 and 24.2, we'll see it in a moment. And what was the best lap of the race? Maybe you won't. Anyway, that was... Uh, there was some wet action there. Uh, two attempts were needed to get it in the gold. Um, which is just fine. Uh, another one. Well, I have to think which one to do next. There's uh, quite a few of them still available. <laughs> 